this is something that I've heard said, um, and I just want to ask ask you about it. Um, I've heard it said that um, this one preacher on TV says that the church will be raptured, but it'll be three and a half years into the tribulation period before they're raptured. And I don't I don't believe that. I mean, I don't. I don't believe it either, but and I, I'll tell you why I don't believe it. Because it was two or three reasons I don't believe that. Well, number one is the church. See, you know, we can <laughs> we can get some really stu- good stuff here. We can. Uh, See, and I think, I think too, while you're looking. Yeah, um, I want to show you something. I think, and, and you can talk I about. I found it. Okay, okay go yeah. ahead, go ahead. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's, let's, let's just read this. Now, we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of the Lord and by our gathering together unto him. Now, listen to what Paul says. I'm talking about the rapture. Mm-hmm. We beseech you, brother, by the coming of the Lord, by our gathering together, that you be not soon shaken in mind or trouble, neither by spirit nor by word, neither by letter is from us, that the day of Christ is at hand. Now listen to what Paul says. There's people writing and saying the rapture's done took place and all this. Mm-hmm. Paul said, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Now listen to what he says. It's if there come a falling away first. So he says, listen to what he says. That day, talking about the rapture, mm-hmm. man deceive you, that day shall not come except they come a falling away first. Okay. It means there's going to be a falling away. Right. Then it says that the man of sin be revealed, the, the son of Perdition. There's mm-hmm. going to be a revealing of who the Antichrist is. Right. A person. A person. Yeah. Now listen. Now listen what it says. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped. Now listen about him. Mm-hmm. Who opposeth God and exalteth himself above God is what that means. Mm-hmm. Above God. Mm-hmm. That is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. He's going to be in the temple in Jerusalem, and he's going to say, I'm God. Mm-hmm. Now listen to what it says. I'm fixing to show you why I don't think the church is going through the end right. of the tribulation. He said, remember you not that when I was with you, I told you these things. Paul said, I've done told you this. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Paul said, there's something that's keeping the Antichrist from being revealed in his time. Right? Mm -hmm. Ain't that what that says? Yeah. Okay. Or what is restraining this from happening? This is what right. it's saying. Keeping it from happening. What is keeping it from happening? Yeah. That's what he's saying. So the Antichrist is not going to be revealed because he's been restrained. Verse 7 says, For the mystery of iniquity does already work. The mystery of iniquity, talking about lawlessness. The word mystery there means something that hasn't been revealed of iniquity or lawlessness. It's speaking right. about the Antichrist. Does already work. Only he who now letteth, only he who now restraineth, is what that mm-hmm. means. He who restrains sin is the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is living word. Where does the Holy Spirit live? Yeah, it lives. In the church. Yeah, it's in the believers. It's, it's in, in the, the believer. Of every believer. So Paul says here, 
he who restrains, mm-hmm. he's going to restrain him yeah. until he be taken out of the way. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> I think that means rapture. It means rapture. <laughs> it means when all the believers are gone, then the Holy can, Spirit that's dwelling in us on earth goes with us. Then it goes where we go. Then the Antichrist can be revealed and do what reign. he's got to do. Yeah, he's got but he reign. cannot do that as long as the church yeah. is here. No, that's right. That's absolutely right. I mean, that's... Well, and, and I wanted to ask you this a minute ago. Does that answer? It does. It okay. does for me. I, I wanted people to hear that in okay. case they were confused about that. Okay. Um, when the church is gone... I don't, I, and I'm asking you if it says it in the Bible. Does it say that evil will just be unrestrained, period, on earth? That it will just be evil will rule earth? Well, it, it says, Jesus said, there'll be tribulation such as never has been or never will be. Yeah. Well, it says in Revelations, uh, they repented not of their murders, of their lawlessness. Yeah. I mean, when the church is, you have to understand, here's what we have to understand. The Holy Ghost lives inside the church. Mm -hmm. And when the church is gone, what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah when the, when the yeah, righteous it was were just total, it. it was just, well, I mean, it was total evil, total wickedness, and then it was destroyed. Well, you know, it's talking about, we read this verse right here, until he be taken out away, talking about, some people says that's talking about the spirit, and some people says it's talking about the church, but to me it don't matter, because the spirit's inside the church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, verse 8 said, then shall the wicked be revealed. Then will the Antichrist be revealed. Because he's not going to take his spirit away from us, away from believers. Right. He would not be he would be lying if he did that. He's and not, God doesn't lie. So well, he's going to take the believers are going to be raptured out. Then the Antichrist will be revealed. Right. And 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 the reason I'm saying that, because Movies and books have made it seem um, exciting to be here after the church is gone and uh, and to be saved then and and that it'll be exciting to, or you know like adventurous and that's yeah. not it at all. No. It's going to be total chaos, total and chaos, evil and well. I just read to you. Only he who restraineth will restrain until he be taken out of the way. Yeah. He's talking about the Holy Spirit, but he lives in the body of Christ. Right. Until the church is, is gone. This verse right here tells you what is restraining evil mm-hmm. in our land. Yeah. Well, see, and that's why I say that about total chaos, because... I think about it in in these terms. When when Hitler was um, creating havoc all over the world, yeah. he was especially in Europe. He was killing Jews, left and right. Six I mean, million. as fast as he could Six kill million. them. Yeah, uh, men, women, children, young, old didn't matter. Uh, he was he was killing them. Um, The United States, along with a lot of other people, stepped in and stopped him and said, that's they enough. They restrained him. Yeah, they restrained him and they said, no, no more. I personally believe that men in power that were Christians, mm-hmm. that had the spirit in them, mm-hmm. they were inclined to stop that because that was telling them the spirit was telling them this is wrong you got to stop this mm-hmm. okay so if you take all of those people out of the world if you take them all out mm-hmm. and somebody like hitler rises up 
I mean, anybody. It well, could be Daniel anybody. Christ, he's going to be a lot worse than Hitler. Yeah. So imagine if but there's, there's no nobody standard. there saying, hey, that's not right. I heard a preacher say this, and I agree with him. He said, it's what you said earlier. Satan has always wanted to be worshipped. Mm -hmm. Well, he'll get that during the tribulation. Yeah, and you just read that a while ago. That he to, would be in the, their temple saying, I am God. God. And yeah. he'll be worshipped. Yeah. He's the only one in the Bible that ever wanted to be higher than God, and that's what that verse. And he'll get that briefly. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got hell forever, but he'll yeah. get that moment of glory briefly. Right. Right. But, you know, to me, this is just to me, God loves the church so much that we never talk about it. But one of the works of the Holy Spirit is to restrain sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it does it within us. Yeah, when we when we choose to sin or we think about sinning, it lets us know that's wrong. Don't okay. do that. Now I'm gonna read you another verse real quick. Tell me yeah. we got about five ten minutes. You got about ten. Okay. Right now. Okay. Matthew twenty three and twenty four. When the restrainer is gone, that's right. the spirit inside the church is gone. Mm -hmm. Then the antichrist will be revealed. Right. Well, listen to this: Revelations three and ten. It's what Jesus told the church of Philadelphia. Because thou has kept the word of my patience. Means they 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 followed God. This mm -hmm. they had endurance. Right. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation or testing, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. He told this church, because you've kept my word, I will keep you from the hour of temptation or trials or tests that shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. He's talking about the rapture. Right. Yeah. He's talking about the rapture. Yeah. Because you're mine, I'm going to keep you from the hour of that's coming on this earth to try all the earth. Right. That, I mean, that's... He tells that church right here, you're not going in through the tribulation period. Well, There's I no mean... There's no other way to look at that. No, Steve. I mean, number one, he says that we're his bride, the church is his bride. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would be kind of odd if he said, I'm going to let my bride get slapped around a little bit before I marry her. Yeah. I mean that's that would just be odd. And well, what about what if yeah? <laughs> I mean, what they if would you never say gonna, that. You're going to marry Karen, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Well, baby, I'm going to send you through seven years of Vietnam. <laughs> that's right. I'm I'm going to put you through a bunch of trouble, and then I'll marry you. And then I'll marry you. <laughs> that's, I, mean, I know it. Don't make you say that. That's just crazy, no. Steve. But getting back to the the whole world being evil. Um, I, I really want to drive this home because I, I'm afraid that some of the younger people mm -hmm. that read these books, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with reading those books. I'm yeah. not saying that at all. I mean, yeah. I've read them. Uh, what I'm saying, though, is, is to somebody who, I guess, romanticizes the idea of being here during the tribulation and it being adventure and exciting, or somebody that might just be saying, well, if somebody can be saved during the, the tribulation, then I'll just I'll just take my chances and wait until the tribulation because I want to see it. Uh, to somebody who would say that, this is what I would say: You were talking about evil being totally unrestrained. So, 
evil just rules. Evil rules everything. So you also said that Christians, people that are saved during the tribulation, that they'll lose their life. Well, then it stands to reason that if evil rules the whole earth and someone gets saved and that that holy spirit that restrains is inside them they're going to be the only one when they say hey wait a minute that's wrong you can't do that because the bible says this well there's going to be i mean you're going to be by yourself so to speak in other words what i'm saying god will be with you i don't mean that but what i mean is just like during world war ii there wasn't just one person that stood up and said hitler you're wrong because if if one person had stood up and said hitler you're wrong mm -hmm. uh he would have killed him or had him killed and then he'd have just kept doing what he was doing but there was enough people here that had that spirit in them that all said hey wait a minute that's not right you're wrong we're going to stop that there was enough people to overpower him and stop him yeah well during the tribulation there won't be no there won't be enough people to do that so when you if you are here during the tribulation and you are saved you're when i lose say your life. you're going to lose your life when you speak well, number out number one you won't be able to buy or eat yeah, because you're going to have to say have to no. the mark of the beast. Right. I mean, however you look at it, you're going to be in a bad way during the tribulation. It, if You're going to be in a bad way either way, but if you accept God during tribulation, you just put a well, big bullseye anybody, on Anybody, let me say this. I don't know how much time we got. We got about four minutes. Anybody, anybody that says, I want to go through the tribulation period, they don't understand the tribulation. They know period. absolutely no Bible at all. Yeah, because they, I mean, it, it's not going to be like the movies make it out. No. The it's movies going to make be, it out like everything's still kind of going on as normal. And, no. It's going to be murder. Yeah. It's going to be fear. Water turning to blood. Fire and hell falling from heaven. Uh, Millions of people dying. I'm talking about millions of people dying. Mm -hmm. Millions of people is going to yeah. die during the tribulation mm -hmm. period. I mean, millions of people. It's basically remove the law. If you remove the law and you just say there is no law, what happens? But it's going to be a time of fear, a time of mm. persecution. I mean, a time of lawlessness. And that, and that's what I'm saying is besides all the things you're saying, which are the plagues that are coming, mm. uh, the natural disaster. Or I say natural yeah. disasters. Yeah. I mean, it's orchestrated Stars and ordained by God. Stars falling from heaven. The yeah. moon quit giving their light. The sun quit. I mean, <laughs> how bad is that? <laughs> that <laughs> I wouldn't want to be here not not during I mean, all that. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. Well, here's what it says: men's heart fell in them for fear, just for being afraid, just from being afraid. Yeah. It's a time of terror. Peace is gone. There's no peace. Peace is gone. No, hope yeah. is gone. Hope's gone. That's right. All that is gone. Uh, that's not a place yeah. you want to be. You know, I mean, it's it's going to be. That's that's why I wanted to say that, and I wanted you to talk about that. We got a couple of minutes. Well, left, I mean, but. because it. Okay, we we got one last verse. Okay. It's Matthew twenty four and twenty nine. We've we just talked about the raptures before the tribulation period, mm -hmm. and the antichrist wouldn't be revealed till the right. church is gone. Okay, but there's more reasons, but we didn't. But we'll get into that later. One of the best things, though, is what you said. No man has a bride that he loves and puts her in seven years of Iraq war. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just just to see how strong she is for him. Revelation twenty, and I mean Revelation three. Just read. He said, I'll, talking about the church, I'll keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall try the whole earth. He right. said, you're not going through it. 
not, you know, there's a bunch of those. But anyway, Matthew 24 and 29. It's talking about the second coming. I'll make this real fast. It's the second coming, not the rapture. He said, after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, the stars shall fall from heaven, the powers of the heaven shall be shaken, and then shall appear the Son of Man in heaven. A scary time. Yeah. But it tells you, after the tribulation is the second yeah. coming. Before the tribulation is the rapture. And, you know, just to someone, and we're going to have to go, we're out of time, but just to someone that, you know, if you think from a scientific mind, um, if the moon is disrupted just a little bit, mm -hmm. we have floods, earthquakes, all kinds of storms, all kinds of disasters happen if the moon is just a little bit disturbed in its um, orbit around the earth because of the gravitational pull of the moon. It affects our planet drastically. Well, I mean, that says the moon ain't going to give us light anymore and that stars are going to fall from heaven. And, that, you know, I, that's not good for earth. I mean, it's not good for anybody that's well, on it. It says in one place that uh, one third of the uh, rivers and waters would be turned into blood. Yeah. Yeah. They talk about there are going to be earthquakes. Mm hmm. You know, it says there's going to be a great earthquake. Yeah. I mean, you've got all of these things. You've got one place that says it's going to rain hell and brimstone, hell yeah. and fire. Raining fire. Raining fire. Yeah. That's uh, scary. And that's what's coming. The church, God is not going to put his no. bride through that. No. no, no, I mean, he's not. And, and well, I mean, he just says it over and over. Pray that you be kind of worthy to, to escape. escape those things which shall try the earth. He says that more than one place, Steve. Yeah. That's also in Matthew, and it's also in Revelation. Right, right. Well... I appreciate it, Brother Thurston. I appreciate you taking the time to do this. I've enjoyed this. It's well, been good. Well, I enjoy it too, and I think that it's good. It's needed, and like I say, there's a lot of different beliefs out there and stories about uh, what is going to happen. Can I say one sentence? Sure. First Thessalonians 4 and 18 is talking about the rapture. And First Thessalonians 4 and 18 says... Comfort one another with these words. I'm not going to comfort one person says, son, you got seven years of tribulation. <laughs> no, that's right. How's that that's going right. to comfort anybody? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, hey, before we go, uh, why don't you talk to anyone that uh, might be out there that don't know Christ? No, okay. That's I think that'd be yeah, good. Yeah, if you're if you're watching and you never accepted Jesus, uh, I'm going to lead you in prayer. If you don't. We want to go through some of the stuff we've talked about today, and you would like to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. He says, "Him that he said, him that cometh to me, I'll in no wise cast out." He says, "No one that comes to him will he turn away." And if you would like to receive him as your Lord and Savior and be born again, what we call being saved, just repeat after me. I'm fixing to pray. Say, Father, I confess my sins. To say, Father, I'm a sinner and ask you to forgive me of my sins and come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Say, Jesus, come in. Amen. It's that simple. We make it hard. It's that simple. If you said it and you believed it, he's came in. That's right. Amen. I appreciate it, Brother Thurston. Enjoyed it. Appreciate Steve. you. And I uh, appreciate you folks watching. And if you did accept Jesus, Find you a church somewhere yes. uh, and, and get you a Bible and uh, go somewhere where they'll teach you what is in that book. That's it. Um, That's and it. Uh, you'll be on the right road. Yeah. Um, till next time, I hope you have a blessed week. Mm -hmm.